Super Mario is one of the best-selling video game franchises of all time, first appearing in 1981 in the classic arcade game Donkey Kong, and eventually getting a start in the world of console and platforming a few years later on the NES. It's crazy to think that a young person like me knows and loves the same Mario that someone like my parents may have known from their childhood, given that they played early games like Donkey Kong, Mario Bros, or Super Mario Bros. Video games seem like such a modern thing in our youth these days, but it's not like they haven't been around since the 70s. And as time has moved on over the decades, Mario has lived through and been part of many major advancements in gaming. Mario's early games were certainly pioneers of platformer games, and we all know that Mario 64 was an important piece to the world of 3D platforming and 3D gaming. Not only that, but Mario has been spread across a great range of games, like the usual platformer, sports games, racing games, educational games. I didn't even know that thing existed until today. And plenty of other things that aren't even video game related. Whether it was the best game you've ever played, or just kind of sucked. I mean, I can't be the only one that hated Sunshine, right? Anyone who has ever touched a controller has probably played a Mario game before, or at least heard of him. Mario can not only function as a mascot for Nintendo, but also for gaming in general. Now, after well over 30 years of Mario making childhoods good, I'd like to discuss an idea I had for a new game for the Mario franchise. This idea I'm about to discuss could be a standalone game, or maybe just bundled in with a future mainline Mario game, like how Bowser's Fury was released as the same game as the Switch version of Mario 3D World. Similar to the video I made not too long ago about a new Smash game idea, this is simply a concept video for something that I think would make a good game, so it's obviously not official. The game is something that we'll call Super Mario vs. And without further ado, I'm going to break this up into a few sections. The overview and background of the concept, new things in the game that will make it different from the game I'm basing it off of, and then a concept portion where I discuss what it would be like if the game was real. Super Mario vs. is a game concept I have that will build up on a minigame from a very important Mario game from my childhood. In May of 2006, New Super Mario Bros. was released for the Nintendo DS, reawakening the classic 1985 NES game Super Mario Bros. in 3D glory. Within this game, which kickstarted the New Super Mario Bros. series, there was the game itself, minigames that were also present in Mario 64 DS, and also a special game mode known as Mario vs. Luigi. My game concept builds upon this Mario vs. Luigi game mode. If you've never played New Super Mario Bros., or have played it but never played the Mario vs. Luigi game mode, then allow me to explain it. Using download play, or connecting online, or however DS's connect to each other, you and one other person could join each other to play Mario vs. Luigi, where one person plays as Mario, and one plays as Luigi. Before the game begins, you must decide how many times someone needs to win before the game ends and an overall winner is decided, which can be one, two, or three, how many stars must be collected for someone to win one round, which can be three, five, or ten, how many lives each player has, which can be three, five, or endless, and whether or not you want to choose the courses that you play on, or if they should be randomly chosen. There are five courses to play on, a grassland, an underground stage, a castle, a pipe stage, and an ice stage, and each is unique. The grass stage is very basic, the underground's terrain can be broken as it is made of blocks, the castle has bob bombs to throw and a ceiling that is constantly rising and falling, the pipe stage has pipes you can go through to get from point A to point B, and the ice stage is slippery and has bullet bills and that one thing to launch you into the air. The game mechanics are the same as the main game in New Super Mario Bros, but there's another player and you are against them. The main premise is that a star will appear at a random spot on the stage, and someone needs to take it. Once a star is taken, another will spawn until it is taken, and so on. You can get power-ups from blocks, or from collecting 8 coins, and if you hit the other player, you knock a star out of them and it starts to bounce around for either player to collect. Once someone gets the selected number of stars to win a round, however many rounds you chose to play will then play out. In the end, Whoever wins the selected number of rounds to win overall, 
first wins the overall game. Now, my concept for Super Mario vs. would bring back Mario vs. Luigi, but make it much better in many ways. Now, I'm going to discuss how Super Mario vs. would be a good game and also improve upon Mario vs. Luigi. If it would be a standalone game, it would just be a simple, free game like Mario 35, or it could be packaged in with the usual $60 mainline game. The obvious improvements to make would be that this new game would have improved modern graphics, and it would be online. Not online as in you can connect through local download play, you could actually play it with anyone anywhere online. Instead of just Mario and Luigi, you could also play as other characters, like Yoshi, Wario, Waluigi, Peach, Daisy, Bowser, Toad, and Donkey Kong. Instead of just 1v1, you could play with up to 4 players at once. With the chance to play with more than 2 players, there would need to be new and improved levels. The same 5 from Mario vs. Luigi would be there, but they would be simply longer to make up for the extra players. New levels would certainly include a water level that is partially on land with a beach, but also partially underwater where you have to swim. A sky level would be cool too, and instead of panning left to right, it would pan up and down as you ascend and descend clouds instead of running left and right on the ground like the other levels. Another castle level would be neat, but it would be better than the one that's already in Mario vs. Luigi. The one in Mario vs. Luigi has no lava or fire, so the new one would add those aspects. There would also be a jungle level, perhaps with a log that you can ride across poison, which would kill you if you fall in. A canyon level would also be nice, with parts where you have to shuffle against cliff sides like you do in canyon levels in some of the new Super Mario Bros. games. Lastly, there could also be a level that is a Mario Kart map, which would bring a sudden switch to 3D into the game. You'd be playing Mario Kart, but instead of racing, you'd be trying to get stars and hit other players with power-ups to take stars from them. Rainbow Road would be a good option for this, as it would bring another new terrain to the game, this time being space. As for options in the game, you'd be able to set the total number of wins before the game ends to a number higher than 3, as Mario vs. Luigi only allows up to 3. You could set the number of stars to collect in a round to above 10, and choose more specific numbers for all of the pre-game decisions I discussed earlier when I was talking about Mario vs. Luigi. As for power-ups, there would be many more. Mario vs. Luigi only has Fire Flower, which allows you to shoot fireballs, Mini Mushroom, which makes you weak, but also able to fit into certain areas and a lot faster, Mega Mushroom, which makes you able to break blocks and pipes in your way and also become giant, Mushroom, which just has the effect that everyone should know, Blue Shell, which allows you to roll around as a spinning Koopa shell and break blocks and damage the other player by hitting them. Star, which makes you run fast, become invincible, and damage the other player in contact. And the new game would add power-ups such as Propeller Mushroom, Super Bell, Ice Flower, Super Leaf, and P-Wing. In Mario vs. Luigi, certain power-ups are good for certain stages. Like Fire and Giant are good for the Grassland, as it is a very open area. Shell is good for the Ice Land, as it is the only stage that has a blue Koopa that you can actually get the power-up from without having to get it randomly by collecting coins. Giant and Mini are good for the Pipe Map, as a Giant can break all the pipes and Mini can access a secret area. And Mini is also good for Castle, because there's another secret area you can access only with Mini there. You can also escape being crushed by the ceiling easier. Some of the power-ups I listed would be good on the maps I came up with. The Super Bell that gives you the cat power-up would be good on the canyon level, as you could climb rocky walls. The propeller would be good on the sky level, as you could fly upwards through the level. And the P-Wing or Super Leaf would be good on the lava castle map I made up as you could fly over the lava pools. Just to get more in depth. With the propeller, you could spin to the ground and damage other players to get a star. With the ice flower, you could freeze players for a certain amount of time, or break them instantly when you freeze them to get a star. And with the cat power up, you could slash other players to get a star. In the end, all of these improvements would take Mario vs. Luigi and turn it into a game that could function as its own standalone title.
Now let's imagine this game is real. Super Mario vs. will release in late 2022, just in time for the holiday season, on the Nintendo Switch as a free-to-play, digital-only game. For Switch Online owners, you can play it online with up to three other players across the world, and for those who do not have Switch Online, you can enjoy the game against up to three CPUs, or even use local multiplayer or multiple controllers on one Switch to play with real people. The game performs well mainly because of its free-to-play nature and the aspect of its nostalgia for those who enjoyed New Super Mario Bros. on their DS's in the 2000s. Alternatively, the game comes as a special game mode in the next mainline Mario game whenever that comes out. Overall, I think this game is a good idea, especially since Mario vs. Luigi as a game mode in New Super Mario Bros. made the game twice as good as it already was for me. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video or liked the idea, go check out my video concept on a new Super Smash Bros. game, and consider liking and subscribing so I know whether or not I'm doing any good in making game concept videos, and if I should make more. Other than that, I've uploaded a few skit videos in the past, if you'd like to check those out. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.